Do you want to see how to use your thumbnails on YouTube to rank higher and get more views? Here's a sweet little trick I'm going to do live on my videos now. So what I've searched for is a search term I'm ranking on and working to be top on. So if you search Facebook ads, then you scroll down past the ads, then I have the third and fourth video down here. If you notice my thumbnails though, if you just look at the thumbnails, you can't tell exactly that I've made both of these videos instinctively. What I want to do is take advantage of having two videos in the top of the rankings because these two videos are on top, but what can be more impressive is having two videos in the top. No one else has two videos in the top, and in fact, I have three in the top 10. So what I wanna do is brand my videos so that they all stand out as mine. So if you scroll through these results, you can't help but notice, wow, this one guy's made three of these. So here's how I'm going to do it quickly with Canva.com. I have my at Canva.com and I go to my previously created thumbnail, I copy it and make a new one, then I go down here and then I click on it to edit. So these are from different years. So this is a 2015, that's a 2014, and my other one down here is from 2013. So what I can do is just, at least for the 2014 one, switch the number up. So all I have to do then is switch the number up and make a new thumbnail out of it. Now that will perfectly line up with my existing thumbnail. So when you see these in the results, you'll see one's newer and one's older, but that both of them are obviously from me. So if you take a look again, that will make my branding consistent between these two. So now all I have to do is search for my Facebook ads, and you'll note a lot of videos will probably come up here. And I just go grab that one that has number one listed on it, which I guess is way down there because I did it before. So I go grab this, I hit edit, and now all I have to do is drop a new thumbnail in it right here. So I click change image, I go to my downloads and I grab this new thumbnail here so that then I save that thumbnail and now I'll have a nice new thumbnail up there that's consistent with the other one instead of looking different. So this is the size, the thumbnail size should be exactly what that is, which is 1280 by 720. So the thumbnail looks good. And then for suggested video and showing up in search results, it will be consistent with the other videos and that's very important. So now what I can do is actually do that with my other video too. So if you scroll down here, this one is from a year ago and that's got a good thumbnail. But if there are any other ones I want to put up in there, then I can do that, but I don't see the need to do that on any of those. Let's take a look at Facebook advertising. Now, the results come up a little different on this one, so what I might want to do then is just rebrand this one so that it fits in with the exact same demographic. But the problem with doing that is then I might lose out because what if this one's better than that one? So sometimes you just don't wanna change anything in there and that's okay. So when you look down through here, you won't notice right away that the thumbnails go together. That's fine. What I've done is I've got the thumbnails more consistent and then if I want to switch that up, I can do it later. But what I'll first do is see how it works on the new search term. I'll see if I get a better ranking with the new thumbnail that soon comes up in there. So that's a little trick you can do with your thumbnails to help you get more clicks because when people see consistency, then they're more likely to have higher amounts of trust and a higher likelihood of wanting to go straight to you. So thank you for watching this and I hope this has been helpful.